Hey guys, welcome back to All Things Antonia. In today's video, this is going to be episode three of my All Things Fall series. And as you can tell by the title, today's video is going to be my fall candle haul for 2019. If you've been following my channel for a while, then you know that I love my candles and every season pretty much i uh, do a candle haul featuring mainstays candles now this video is not sponsored i did purchase these candles with my own money mainstays if you would like to sponsor me that would be great um but i love mainstays candles so i will link my previous candle haul videos down below um, but like I said, today's video, this is going to be episode three of my All Things Fall series. And uh, yeah, if you're interested, then just keep watching. Okay, guys, so the first candle that I want to start with is this candle right here, and it is called Apple Cider Donuts. And it just looks like this right here. It's got some donuts on the front, and you can see the mainstays label right there. Um, now, this candle, it smells so good. Um, I'll tell you what I did. So I did do a previous uh, fall candle haul. Like I mentioned, I did one last year. I'll link that down below. Um, so what I did, I didn't repurchase the candles that I got last year. I was looking to see what new candles they had this year that I didn't see last year. So that's what's in this haul. These candles are new candles for fall i'm gonna say because like i said i don't remember seeing these last year so um this is the apple cider donuts candle and it looks like this and these are three wick candles and they do retail for three dollars and 33 cents now this smells really really good um i'm not i don't know that i'm picking up apple cider maybe just a little bit but it has an, a light scent of cinnamon I would say it's really good I don't know how to describe the blend and I don't think they put the notes on these candles hey guys so I was doing some research to see if I could give you a better description of some of these fragrances in the candles and so um, for the apple cider donut I found that this candle features an edible spicy fusion of harvest fruits aromatic spices and decadent vanilla bourbon nuances with hints of nutmeg and cinnamon so there you go i got that from the um walmart and website. the next candle that i have is called fall farmhouse and it just looks like this i think it's really pretty with the little barn and the window with the fall colored leaves on there um this is fall farmhouse and this one to me has a very clean smell but a very um a clean smell but it has a, a hint of so the website describes fall farmhouse as red cedar oak wood and ambered incense fused with gently spiced birch soft hickory and woodland herbs amid aromatic cypress and rich fir balsam Okay guys, so the next candle that I have for you is called Spun Pumpkin Sugar. And the candle just looks like this right here. Super duper cute packaging. And I love the nice cream color of the candle wax. Again, these are three wick candles. These are three wick candles as you can see here. And this candle smells so good it smells like a nice blend of fresh baked sugar cookies and homemade fresh baked sugar cookies and a slight hint of pumpkin it's not an overpowering smell of pumpkin a dash of cinnamon this sweet fragrance is spiced with clove cinnamon and nutmeg and then laced with swirls of maple cream and topped with brown sugar crystals Oh my gosh, this smells amazing. <laughs> no wonder this is my favorite candle so far. 
And then the next candle that I have is called Cozy Gathering. How cute is this label with the two little coffee mugs and the blanket, just a nice cozy vibe going on there. And I also like the color of this candle wax too. So very pretty, nice fall vibes going on here. Mmm. Ah, oh, that smells really good. I'm not sure how to describe it though, because it's not like a like a pumpkin-y type scent. Cozy Gathering is a woody and spicy fragrance that combines a warm blend of fresh black peppercorn, golden birch, patchouli, smoked guayac, and rich suede to create a cozy fall cocoon. Okay, you guys, so I have two more candles, two more candles that I wanna show you, and these candles that I found were not in the candle aisle with the rest of the mainstays candles, okay? These candles were on a separate aisle with other mainstays products. There were a lot of uh, like home related uh, items and they were all like, I guess, fall related, like fall and winter themed items. So check around the store um, because these weren't on the candle aisle. Um, they were kind of close to the front of the store, so you may actually see it when you first walk in, depending on how your store is set up. Um, but yeah, it was kind of like a display of like new items. You could tell they were kind of trying to show you like, this is what's new, check it out, you know? that aisle <laughs> okay so these candles let me tell you mainstays did the doggone thing okay let me just say because i do not recall seeing mainstays do candles like this last year maybe i just missed it because it wasn't in the candle aisle with the rest of the the other candles but i don't recall seeing this last year and I'm impressed I am impressed okay so let me just go ahead and show you what I got so I got this beautiful candle here beautiful candle now this is a one wick candle I don't know if you can see that but it's a one wick candle it's in this beautiful white glass this is pretty heavy this beautiful um, looks like a milky white glass and um, this candle is called Suede Woods, and the notes are bergamot, caramelized sugar, and suede. And y'all, this candle smells like uh, just everything. I love all of these scents. Bergamot, uh, caramelized sugar, suede, like all of that. So the suede that I'm picking up I think it's kind of like a cologne like a men's cologne type fragrance. Not too strong, though. It's a very nice blend of all these fragrances. The caramelized sugar gives it a nice sweet smell. Oh, my gosh. I just want to, like, rock back and forth. Oh, my goodness. And, uh, yeah, the bergamot gives it a nice woodsy, a hint of a woodsy kind of fragrance, I think. And I love all that. I like all that. So again, this is a one wick candle and this is 11 ounces and this candle was a bit more expensive. So um, the three wick candles I just showed you, those retail for $3.33. This one was a bit more. I don't have my receipt. I will find that and put it somewhere on the screen for you. Um, but yeah, this is what it looks like. It's called Suede Woods. And this is by the Mainstays brand as well. Okay, you guys. And then this is the last candle that I have. And this one is called Country Holiday. Again, this is by the Mainstays brand, as you can see here. This candle is absolutely stunning. It comes with a gold lid on the top here. And this one is actually 17 ounces. And um, it is a one wick candle as well. If you can see that there. Um, now, okay. 
Um, this candle, the notes are winter berry, snowdrop petals, and cypress. And you guys, this candle smells amazing. And let me tell you what I am thinking. Um, if you saw my winter candle haul that I did for Mainstays uh, back in, I think like December, November, December, um, there was a candle. It was a three wick candle. It was a light blue uh, color wax and um, it was in like this packaging right here. I wanna say that candle was called Country Holiday and I wanna say that I raved about that candle. If it's the candle that I'm thinking about <laughs> that I hauled back then, I raved about that candle. I was obsessed with that candle and apparently it was very popular because when I bought it I think there was like only one left on the shelf and I never saw that candle in the store again so apparently everyone else liked it too I think it was called country holiday and I think this is that same scent I think it's that same fragrance um, so I still love it I'm still obsessed it smells so good Again, the notes on this are winterberry, snowdrop petals, and cypress. It just has a nice fragrance. It's not overpowering. Um, honestly, I think this will be a good like winter candle. It's out now, so I'm including it in my fall candle haul. Um, I may hold on to this until like after Thanksgiving, or maybe like Thanksgiving night. Who am I? I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> uh, I start Christmas decorating Thanksgiving night, but oh my goodness, this smells amazing. So they did have another candle in this packaging. It's a nice frosted white glass. So even when the wax is burned out of this, you can still reuse this jar for like decor purposes. Oh my goodness, you guys, I, you know, I like to DIY stuff, so you could easily just make a, ba a, a base for this and use this as, um, you know, your vase on top of a candlestick and create a beautiful candle labra, candle holder, whatever you want to call it. Anyways, I say that to say I may need to go back and get one more of these just so I'll have like a set <laughs> once all the wax burns out of this and I can keep these frosted glass jars but um, yeah this is super duper pretty again I'll have to find my receipt with the price on it because obviously this is more than three dollars and thirty three cents but good job mainstays the fragrance is amazing the uh, packaging is lovely and uh yeah i am i'm impressed i'm impressed i'm impressed also i wanted to mention to you guys like i said earlier in the video that these are just the new candles that i saw at my store for the time being they may still put out new ones i'm not for sure um, if I do go back and I see a new candle, I may snap a picture, I may purchase it, I may haul it. Um, if I don't haul it, I may snap a picture, post it on my Instagram so and Twitter. So be sure to follow me on my social medias um, because sometimes I will post like exciting new finds in the store on my Instagram um, and on Twitter. So be sure to follow me there. I have my links always in the description box so you can easily access that um but yeah i did want to come back and let you know that they did have other fall candles in the store so these weren't the only ones that they had but those were the ones that i had probably purchased last year and i just didn't want to buy the same ones i wanted to try something new and also show you guys what is new with mainstays for fall candles this year so um some of the old ones i know they had was like the traditional pumpkin spice um they have another one that i absolutely love and i believe it's called um pecan pumpkin cake and they have um several different ones 
but like I said, I will link my previous Mainstays candle haul videos in the description box so you can go and check those out so you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. And also for myself, I'm going to go back and watch <laughs> my winter candle haul video because I'm really wanting to know was that country holiday that I hauled at Christmas time last year and now they're bringing it back in this beautiful packaging? So yeah, I want to find that out for myself as well. I'm going to go back and watch that video. Um, but yeah, so that's going to be it for today's candle haul. Thanks for watching episode three of my All Things Fall series. And be sure to subscribe to the channel. I'm going to be uploading tons of fall related videos. I do DIYs. I do fall hauls um or i do hauls in general but these are going to be fall related and um yeah i also want to incorporate some fall um, baking or cooking videos into there just sharing some of my favorite fall recipes with you guys fall is my favorite time of year maybe because it is my birthday in the fall time i don't know but um yeah so leave me a comment down below let me know your thoughts on today's video be sure to give this video a big thumbs up it really does help my channel out a lot and uh subscribe if you're new and i will see you in my next video bye